issues faced the lab or informatics slash automation market in 2019? It's a great question. So we we have before starting lab trip, we interviewed hundreds of scientists all over the world, and one issue that we identified is currently available lab informatics tools are disconnected totally with the task scientists perform. So most of the tools are applicable post after the experiments are done, not during the ex experiment. So the real time, there are no tools available to support scientists while they are doing experiment. For example, scientists spend 50 to 80 percent of the time at the bench running experiments but there is no reliable way to support them so they can capture data or access information while running experiment in real time. So that's the main issue and that this is the reason why I, I, I can say that with responsibility. Currently drug R&D, pharmaceutical R&D is not a data driven process unfortunately and this is one of the reason. Perfect and how is, how is Lab Twin as a company addressing these issues? So Lab Twin, we, we use mobile technology, it's a mobile app and web app, and voice recognition technology. So we empower scientists when they are at the bench to simply connect their headphones and activate the Lab Twin app, focus 100% on running experiment, and start vocalizing what they're doing. So they can capture data just by talking to Lab Twin. Not just that, we are also integrating with hardware devices, other uh, lab informatics platforms. So scientists will be able to access information while running experiment. So uh, I think voice recognition and mobile technology, uh, it's helping us to resolve that issue. Yeah. And what will 2020 hold the lab informatics as automation industry? I think we will see a continuous movement towards the lab of the future. It's a buzzword these days. But what we mean by lab of the future is labs are it's inevitable. They will move towards more connected environment. We believe lab of the future is connected. Lab of the future is touchless. So they don't have to use their hand to document. They can control instruments just by talking. And lab of the future is automated with the adoption of robotics, with the adoption of um, AI machine learning to their day-to-day -day work workflows. So I think we will see uh, continuous, we will see the next stage of evolution. Perfect. And what are the future challenges researchers are facing in this field? Yeah, there are so many opportunities, but they all come with some problems. For example, to generate data, it's, it's very cost effective. It's not too time sensitive compared to a decade ago. And we will uh, expect to see the decrease in uh, the cost to generate data, but it comes with its own problem. Because if you have data from different sources, and if it is not high quality data, you will not be able to extract insights from it. If you have data from different sources, and um, it's not high quality, it's not prof properly uh, labeled, AI will not be applicable. So you need high quality data, not just raw data, but you need better quality data. You, you also need metadata, not just data, but data about data to really make machine learning work. And so with more data sources, with decrease in the cost to generate data, we, we will, uh, I think, we will expect some challenges about the quality of data. We are already seeing that. But I think with more data, we will see more challenges, how to really make that data usable. It's a new currency, but you cannot really monetize it unless you structure it such a way, unless you label it and it's usable enough. So usable data is, uh, I think it's a challenge even currently. Another, I can highlight one more challenge as the machines are becoming smarter and smarter every day, there is some perceived threat from end users. They don't uh, want uh, machines to replace them. In reality, that's not even true. Machines will never replace humans. Um, but machines will augment humans. But there's risk that, that there will, we will see some challenges with the adoption of these smart, smart tools. So human-machine interface has to be uh, 
uh, improved to solve those challenges, but I think we will see some challenges in uh, adoption of these smart tools, smart machine learning enabled uh, technologies. Amazing. And yeah. uh, one more question I'd like to ask sure. is, uh, what do you think will be the biggest technology impact for 2020? So more pharma companies are realizing that having all these smart tools is not enough, all right? Interoperability is very important. Different tools should talk to each other. Otherwise, you have data at one place here, another place there, and it's just data graveyard. It's not even usable. So I think we will. We already have quite a bit of awareness, and the cost of automation is already going down. So we will see more connected environment. So pharma companies will focus more on not just implementing a new tool, but also how new tools can talk to their legacy softwares. So I think we, we will expect that in 2020 more.